is up guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick, thank you so much for being here. So today I decided to do something different, it is a tag and it is called the hypocrite YouTuber tag. I first saw uh, Beauty Bird do this and she didn't uh, start it, I'm just saying who I saw it from. She doesn't know who started it but what she said was that it was very popular in the Spanish YouTube world and I thought it was a cool tag because I haven't seen anybody else do it and I think it's a very interesting tag because you kind of get to get into a YouTuber's mind and I don't know, I thought it'd be fun, it's a little bit juicy. Um, if you do know who started this tag, please comment down below, I would love to give them credit and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad my squad my squad today's post notification shout out goes to Janie I really hope I'm not saying it wrong Janie Guzman or Jenny I don't know but thank you so much for having my post notifications on you were literally like the first person to comment on my last video so thank you for just being on time on point for being such a good subscriber I really really appreciate it if you want to get the next post notification shout out all you have to do is turn them on and comment when you are done okay so I have a feeling that this might get a little juicy so get your popcorn out and yeah I guess let's just Let's just do these questions. The first question is, have you ever blocked someone on Instagram? Um, yes, I have. I have? I mean, I blocked my ex-boyfriend, but um, just like out of shade, like with random people, I don't think I have. I think only, I think maybe only one person that commented something like rude. So, oh, and uh, I mean, I block just like creepy guys that like won't stop DMing me because obviously my Instagram uh, page it is public and you know anyone can follow me but then there's those certain people that follow me and then they start trying to talk to me yeah I mean I've just blocked like freaky people um, I've never really blocked out of shade other than like I said like past relationships but other than that I'm I got no beef with nobody with nobody I got no beef I have no beef with anybody English. Question number two is, do you envy any other YouTubers? Um, I want to answer this, but in the way that I think, like, I don't envy anyone. To me, envying someone is just like a negative thing. Like, if you're jealous of someone, if you envy someone, that means you're kind of like giving off just like some bad vibes. If you're doing good and people dislike you for that, you would be like, what? What is your problem? So you have to be the same way to other people. I don't envy anybody, but I'll, I am inspired by a lot of YouTubers. There are YouTubers that I'm like, oh my God, I wish I had that many subscribers or oh my gosh, I wish I had their quality. Um, you know, it's, it's hard starting YouTube now. Um, I've only been on YouTube like less than a year and there are so many YouTubers that, you know, that deserve you know how many followers they have because they've been doing it for so many years and their quality is amazing and I am teaching myself how to do everything so it's been kind of hard and I do look at other youtubers and I see some that have a background in like editing and all that stuff or their boyfriends do and I'm like oh my god I wish I knew someone that could just teach me these things because I've been teaching myself so in that way I do I guess I'm envious of other people because I just wish that I could have a better quality as they can but I also you know what I see them as is inspiration so I'm not mad about it I just I hope that one day I can be like them um, and hopefully one day I can have a biggest platform as them because I mean who wouldn't want that so I'm not envious of anybody but I am inspired by so many and I really hope to be like them one day okay next question is have you ever answered back to comments in a rude way yes uh, the only time I've done that is when people are rude to me, obviously. If, you, if you're a subscriber of mine, you know I reply to you with as much love as possible. But um, I have, you know, I try not to respond. Now when I get hate comments, I just delete them because it's like, why am I responding to these people that just don't matter? But at first, when I started getting some, I was like, what? And like usually, you know, in like real life, if someone says something mean to you, you like respond to them. But here on YouTube, it's different. It's like people that don't know you and it's like irrelevant people. And I feel like sometimes you have to remind yourself of that. So I have, um, sometimes what I do is I'll start typing it out and then my boyfriend or my mom, they'll be like, what are you doing? Don't respond. So then I delete it. But sometimes I really wish I could give them a piece of my mind because I do sometimes get comments. Like the comments that are stupid, like, oh, you're ugly, stuff like that. I'm like, I don't care. But the ones that are like, like, 
I got a comment not so long ago saying that I'm just like really stuck up and I was just like what? Like I'm the least stuck up person and I did respond to that person just because I feel like that's not an image that I mean just in case they think I'm stuck up I'm like hey like I'm not though like don't get that image in your head but I will be honest with you guys I'm gonna spill some tea here this is so embarrassing but I'm trying to be as honest as possible um my uh, roommate Sophia uh, she she has a YouTube account. I mean, she just watches YouTube. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. But uh, one time, some girl said something so rude, and I was like, "Oh my god, I wish I could just reply." And um, she was like, "You want to borrow my account and reply to her?" And I was like, "Yes." And I did. And you know what? It didn't make me feel better. Like after I did it, I was like, "Okay, I need to stop doing that because." Like, first of all, that's just fake. I mean, I don't want to be a fake person. I don't want to be trolling around on my friend's account. So I was like, you know what, stop that. Now I just delete them. I block people half the time if they're like super rude. I'm ashamed that I wasn't the bigger person because I do pride myself in that. So as of now, I am the bigger person and I just don't even, I don't even deal with it anymore. Whatever. Okay, question number four is, which is your favorite video that you've done? <sighs> to be honest, this might sound kind of sad but I don't have I don't know anytime I every time I do a video and I upload it and then I upload more I look back and I'm like uh like I feel like I'm never satisfied with my videos because I just I just want them to be better and better and better I, I am proud of my videos obviously who follows me here on YouTube likes my videos enough to follow me but uh, when I do watch them back I'm like oh I shouldn't have done that or um, I could have done this better or maybe the lighting could have been better so I am kind of hard on myself on that I don't think I have a uh, like a favorite video other than maybe the ones like the vlog like my Cayman vlog I love rewatching that because it's kind of just like rewatching your whole vacation. Um, I vlog in Mexico I love it because my family's in it and I like to rewatch that so for my own sake I love uh, videos that my family and my friends are in. Oh my god, the get ready with me with Nat or the blindfolded challenge with Sophia. I love watching those. I'm always cracking up. So for my sake, I do like watching the ones that involve people that I love. I mean, I guess you could say some of my favorite videos are my most watched videos, which I don't know. Actually, that's not even true because my most watched video is the $1 makeup challenge that I did like eight months ago and I was so awkward and cringe and I was like shy in front of the camera, but I was trying not to be. So I was just being awkward and trying to be way too funny. And that video has so many views and I do get a lot of my subscribers from that. So thank you to whoever subscribed from that video because I look like a weirdo in that video. But, um, those videos, it's like, it's just so embarrassing, but you know what? They're getting me views, so I'm like, whatever, and yeah. Anyways, I think I just got sidetracked. Okay, next question says, what is one video that you're embarrassed about? I mean, pretty much like the first 10 videos. Um, first of all, just from my quality standpoint, um, I mean, I, I didn't think it was bad quality because I definitely, I waited a long time to start my channel because I wanted to make sure I could compete with all these other YouTubers and have good quality and have a nice camera and have good lighting. So I definitely did all my research and I did a lot before I even started my channel. So I'm not even mad about the quality. It's just, to be honest, um, I'm a very outgoing person and if you know me in person, you know I like to crack jokes every two minutes. Videos that I don't like are just like the first ones just because you can tell that my personality is not like my actual personality. And I'm, I'm like trying to be way too funny which makes me not funny and I try to crack jokes or I try to be different and I don't know I was still trying to figure out what the deal was with YouTube so I just I just didn't feel like myself and now that I look back on those videos I'm like Vine what are you doing like you're being a weirdo no one's gonna like you but I don't want to delete any videos because you know I want people to see my journey I love going to other people's videos and seeing like their first video just to see them it just really inspires me seeing their first video really inspires me so I hope one day when someone sees my first video years from now um, it'll inspire them so okay it says have you ever had any problems with another youtuber um, since I'm fairly new at this YouTube game I don't know very many I am friends with some mainly smaller channels but some um, you know bigger channels I haven't came across anyone like super rude 
Um, the only people I've come across that are YouTubers that have kind of just rubbed me the wrong way are people that, like, people that want to, like, collaborate with me that have a channel that has nothing to do with makeup and it's like and look I'm not look I don't even have that many followers I'm not saying people are trying to use me for my followers because God knows I have only like a little bit I'm not like against people with smaller sus subscriber count like no are you kidding me but it's like people that message me and it's like uh, and I have like 10,000 more subscribers than them right and they'll be like oh let's collaborate blah 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 and like their channel is about like just boy stuff and it's like what like so you're it's just people that are obvious like I don't know I feel like some people have no shame and a couple people have asked me to collaborate when they have when their channel has nothing to do with makeup and also people that I have never even met in person I mean if I was friends with another youtuber and we had different channels and we wanted to do a collab and do something different together that's a different story but it's people that have never met me and they're come up to me like they're my friend on you know DMs and they're like hey let's collab you know and it's like do what? I also want to add that there's YouTubers out there that will kiss your ass and try to be friends with you and then after that they'll ask you of all your secrets how do you do this how do you do that how do you do that and you help them out and then they just like stop being your friend and it's like oh so you're just being a fake friend just so I could help you just mm, mm, the tea I just done I just wanted to say that too all right question number seven is if you could go back what would you change about your channel um nothing really like I said maybe try to be myself more at the beginning of my videos but other than that it's been a wild awesome ride I've gotten like the most awesome subscribers. I've made so many friends. I I love what I'm doing. Um, I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel and it's so cool that I have one and it's cool that people like it. Um, so I wouldn't change anything because, you know, like everybody says, you know, whatever happened got me here today and uh, I'm really happy with where I'm at. So I wouldn't change anything. Okay, question number eight. We're almost done. If you're still here, you're real. Um, have you ever been inspired or have you ever copied other YouTubers? Um, I mean, I've definitely been inspired, obviously, like at this point, you can't really have an original video, you know? I've definitely been inspired by people and I definitely feel like I have copied people because I learned how to do my makeup on YouTube. I've been watching these YouTubers forever, so I feel like any looks that I do, they're obviously inspired by the people who taught me, which are YouTubers. Um, have I ever just like copied an idea, like to the T? No, because it's like, why would you do that, you know? Especially if it's like, I don't know, it just, I feel like it would just make you look bad. I guess the only thing that I've ever like copied is um, like I'll watch people's like film setup and I'll get the equipment that they have. But like video ideas, um, no, just, just been inspired but never just been a little copycat. Have you ever given a dislike to other videos? Yes, I have, but no, not like a shade dislike. I don't think I've ever disliked like a beauty makeup video. If there's something bad going on or if someone does like a really controversial, inappropriate and insensitive video, I will give that a thumbs down. Uh, but I will never thumbs down like a video where, um, you know, if someone did like a hair tutorial and they didn't do it very nice you know like who am I to judge not very often like I'm just saying this because I know at least once or twice in my life I have given a thumbs down but I don't I don't just like go dislike videos if I don't like them um yeah I just thumbs up youtubers that I like <laughs> okay and the last question is do you have a fake account to do things to your channel um no like I said the closest I've been to a fake account is just when I use my roommates YouTube account to reply to some troll that I was just so mad about but other than that like who has the time to make fake accounts uh, you know why would I make a fake account to like what give my channel thumbs up or give myself views like obviously I want to grow organically because that's the only t kind of real growth you know I'm not gonna go do things for myself from other accounts because then it actually doesn't even count you know if if my video has a thumbs up for myself then like that doesn't count but if it has the thumbs up from somebody else that liked it I'm like hell yeah they're liking it so no I've never had a fake account for like that kind of thing because 
Who has time for that? Alright guys, and that is the end of the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this kind of video. I know I don't do that many like talking videos in my channel, but um, I just wanted to do a tag. And there are so many tags that I could do, but they're already so overdone. Um, so I, since I saw this one, I was like, I haven't even seen this one. So I'm gonna do it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it was a little fun because you know I'm just spilling all my secrets and I'm just being honest with you guys because I always am I have nothing to hide from y'all so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment down below let me know if you have seen this tag um, what do you think about it and also if you know who started it I would love to know and yeah I hope you're having an awesome day or night wherever you guys are and I really hope to catch you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching I love you guys very very much and I will see you guys next time Mwah.